Hello everybody, I am Hunter, and I wanted to make this video to discuss the Real Money Auction House because there has been so much confusion surrounding this game system, especially today because Blizzard actually announced that they are partnering with PayPal for all the cash out transactions, which is pretty exciting news. Maybe we'll chat about that a little later in the video, but I want to get into the Auction House, how it operates, because I want to clear up a lot of this confusion. Hopefully we can have a more logical discussion about the pros and cons and implications of the Real Money Auction House uh, after we have the facts you know more straightened out so I think it's important to just start from the beginning I mean you're gonna be at the midnight release I'm gonna be at the midnight release of Diablo 3 you pay your 60 bucks and you're going to be able to play the game and people are gonna play a lot a lot a lot they're gonna get their level 60 characters their godly specked out gear setups you're gonna have uh, you know a stash overflowing with loot if you play enough and eventually you know Maybe you're gonna want to sell some of that loot make some cash It's pretty cool that you can do that You know you're not spending any more than that sixty dollars for the game But you can make a little extra cash on the side just as a little reward for your commitment to Diablo 3 I think that's pretty cool and I think it's important to understand though how basically you go from an electronic item to cash in your bank account it's very important to understand the steps, and it all starts with a listing fee. Um, no matter what item it is, whether it's a Cracked Sash or a Windforce Hydro Bow, it's going to be a fixed listing fee. I don't know what it's going to be. Nobody does, except for, well, the people at Blizzard and um, the Diablo 3 team, but it's going to be fixed. So that means that if it's small enough for the Cracked Sash, or, or that's a stupid example, obviously, but uh, a low-level item, any of the hundreds of low-level items, as long as it's reasonable for those items, it'll be completely reasonable for the, you know, high rollers who are selling these really sick items for hundreds of dollars on the auction house. So I don't think many people should be concerned about the fixed fees associated with listing. And after the listing fee, whether you're, I mean, you lose your listing fee whether or not your item sells on the auction house or not. But if it does sell, if people do bid and someone does buy your item, you are also going to incur a transaction fee there, a sale fee. So that's also going to be incurred by the seller. Another fixed fee. So once again, as a fixed fee, um, Blizzard would be very foolish to set them at an unreasonably high level. And apparently they can't change no matter what you're selling. So I wouldn't worry about that fixed fee either. What I would worry about would be the cash out fee and how exactly that's going to work because it's no longer a fixed fee. It is now a percentage fee and there's a huge difference. If you're taking a percentage of um, the cash out, say, for example, I'm a low level guy and I just sold a few items and I want to withdraw $20. I want to get that $20 from my Battle.net account to my bank account. Um, the fee percentage fee for cash out might be 5%. We don't know what it's going to be, but it, if it's 5%, I mean, 5% of 20 bucks is a buck. It's not a lot of money for what you're doing. You know, paying a dollar to move money from one bank account, well, from one Battle.net account to a bank account, is not that unreasonable as a transaction rate. Well, what if you're a high roller and you just sold your Windforce off for $500 and you want to withdraw that $500 cash? Well, 5% of 500 bucks is $25. That's a ridiculously high number. It's a very large fee to be... Uh, taking for just moving money uh, in, in that case. So I just certainly hope that uh, Blizzard has sort of taken that much into consideration and um, aren't going to be really ripping off the people who uh, are that committed to the game and spending so much time farming that they're selling these godly items and trying to make, um, well, trying to earn their money because obviously they've invested the hours. I just worry that the percentage fee is actually not going to change. Like, if it was one percentage fee for no matter what size the cash out was, like, that would be really ridiculous. So that is a point of concern for myself, and I think it's important to understand that, how the percentage fee differs from the fixed fees that you incurred earlier. And finally, yes, PayPal is going to get a little bit of money, too. I mean, this is what PayPal does. They're an online money transaction service whether you're buying or selling or donating or transferring they do it but they don't do it for free and i would just add that i've experienced a lot with paypal as well and their fees are not by any means ridiculous like it's not going to be um game changing um or it's not going to be breaking uh it's not going to break the real money auction house man just getting these words out but PayPal, uh, they have to remain competitive because there's so many other services that do the same thing. They're not going to charge anything unreasonable. I think Blizzard made a pretty good choice to go with PayPal. Uh, they're, of course, the most reputable 
uh, online money transaction service. So I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, and they're going to take a small fee too. It's probably just going to be a small percentage fee that fluctuates depending on the, the cash out size. So hopefully Blizzard will uh, take you know a page out of their book and incorporate that into their cash out fee as well. We'll just have to wait and see. Either way, this is such a significant um, addition and one that we think we you know need to continue to um, not well. We need to not forget about it because it's it's hard with Blizzard updating us every day with new content and new exciting announcements uh, about Diablo 3. But don't lose sight of that. And I'd also point out the liability. Blizzard is going to have to really up their security a lot. Thousands of Blizzard accounts have been hacked, whether it's Diablo 2 or World of Warcraft. Accounts get hacked every day. I think that Diablo 3 should come with an authenticator in the box if they're going to be doing these kinds of real money transactions because their liability flies through the roof as soon as you attach real money um, onto these online uh, games. It's it's a really big deal. I'd worry about that. And even Blizzard getting sued. And I would kind of add this as the final point. Take, for example, Diablo 2. In patch 09, the Boazon was rampant. Shaft stop, uh, wind force, vamp gaze, you know, other items. These items for the Boazon, especially in PvP specifically, um, were very highly valued. Wind force is used to sell for like three, four hundred dollars on eBay or more. But when Blizzard released patch released patch 1.1, this changed. I don't know if it was the Boazon that got nerfed to hell, or if it was just new classes like or new builds like the Hammerdin build that really became super powerful. But all of a sudden these items like the Wind Force or that other Boazon gear, you know, the value, the item value fell dramatically to nothing. To nothing. And if Blizzard does this, if it, they make these patch changes and balance changes on a whim without thinking them out really meticulously, then people who have just purchased items on the Real Money Auction House for $50, for example, one item for $50, a patch change could nerf that item or nerf a build that, associ that is associated with that item, and all of a sudden you've invested $50 and your item might be worth 5 bucks the next day. So, you know, what the hell? People are going to be pissed and there's... I, it's not going to surprise me when there are lawsuits um, that occur. So Blizzard needs to be very careful. Um, they're a smart company, though, and I trust them. I've trusted them for 15 years, you know, back in the day when I was a kid. And, um, you know, they never really done me wrong. So hopefully they're going to – they got a good handle on this, I hope. But I think it's important just to keep our eyes open and just be aware of uh, what's going on with our game because, uh, you know, this is our game at the end of the day. Spread the word, especially – when it comes to something as important as the Real Money Auction House, uh, let other people know. And honestly, the best way to do that is just clicking like and favorite. It spreads the video around, gets more people aware of the Real Money Auction House and how it works. This is like the most significant change they've announced so far. So just keep that in mind, okay? I think that's all for today, guys. Once again, I am Hunter. Take care until next time. Peace out.